So I've been finding a lot of stuff online where there's a lot of people posting that they think that the world we live in is any different than it's ever really been. And I mean, oh, sure, yeah, you know, money goes up and some wages don't. But you know what? If you think about it, when you're growing up as a kid, you don't have money. You know, most people aren't born into a successful family unless of course your family has already has really good jobs and they've already earned it somehow and then whatever they pass on to you and you can live with them and you don't have to pay rent that's on them you know stuff like that but you know but as I was growing up I really started realizing something that's really interesting that I think a lot of people don't really realize they underestimate and that is the idea of making money you see I've always told people that if you really want to make a lot of money you know, no scams or anything. It's really a simple concept. You can teach yourself a skill and then just try to advertise to as many people as possible. Because if you really notice that, most people are either working for someone else or they're not working at all. Or they're working for themselves and maybe they're just struggling to advertise to people that that's where their money comes from. But you, you see these people nowadays, like they're online posting stuff where they're trying to make it sound like that this has never really been the case. You know, people could always afford things even when they didn't work. And it's like, you know, but here's the thing, people, there's always ways to make money. There's always ways to make more money. Okay. I work in advertising. Okay. I'm going to tell you what, when I was growing up, I had nothing, you know, from my parents aside from, you know, having a place to stay and food to eat and basically just being able to do what I want. But I mean, as far as money goes, my parents basically told me, you know, that's you're on your own for that. And I told them, I said, you know, and I agree. So I taught myself different languages. And as I got older, I started advertising more. Once I figured out I could make more money, but I just couldn't get people to know I existed. So I started advertising more and I started, and now I basically, I have work every single day because there's always somebody out there willing to pay a lot of money for what they do. So, but I read some of these comments, some of these people post every now and again, where they're basically trying to make it sound like that, you know, everything's too expensive to afford. And they try to make it sound like there's no way around it. There's no way to make money, but that's not true. There's always ways out there. People just aren't working. They're not trying, or they might just be taking a different approach. You know, it happens, but but really what a lot of people have to understand is, you know, either you're working for somebody else or you work for yourself. And, you know, the answers aren't just going to come falling out of the sky just like that every time. You know, same thing with money. You know, if you want to make a lot of money in the world, you have to go out and earn it. And that's how it's always been. You know, you go back a hundred years ago, even some of the Looney Tunes cartoons, believe it or not, always used to poke fun of the idea. You know, they would always used to say that, you know, if you, there's no work, there's no pay. You don't show up for work. You're not going to get paid. You need money to work, to live, but you don't have to just accept the bottom of the barrel or it has to be a crapshoot. It doesn't have to just be like wage slavery. Like they say it is like, again, you can, you can start your own businesses. I mean, this is how it's always been though. You know, I don't care how far back you want to go. Like, you know, people have always had to work for money and they, and there's always been people that were poor or rich there, you know, forget the middle class nonsense. You know, there's always been, it's either you have nothing or you have everything. It's always been like that because that's how the world's always been ruled by, but there's always a way around things. And if you know how to play your cards, right, it doesn't have to all be luck. You know, the same thing with people. Let me tell you something. I know people to this day and age that are running multi and they're not rich, but they weren't rich to begin with, but they built themselves up into a successful entrepreneurship. They built themselves up in a social, like a software company and a hardware company, make a half a million dollars a year, maybe even more. Could you imagine making a half a million dollars a year? That's a lot of money. I mean, at least I think so. Um, but anyways, um, you get all these people that, you know, they just don't realize what they're capable of and, you know, where to start, where to begin and what to do. And, but you get all these people that they're not making an attempt to go out there in the world and work for somebody else. They're just, they just expect other people to do it for them. And it's like, that's just not how it works. Especially, let me tell you something, you know, you might not like working for somebody else. You might not like working for yourself at all, but I'll tell you what, though, if you don't figure something out, you know, making money, you know, not having money is even worse than not making money, but not enough. So, and, and believe me, I, I remember the days I used to say to myself years ago that 
you know, I used to think to myself, I'm like, you know, I don't like working, so I want to do something about it. Well, then I started enjoying everything I do. And I basically just found a way to appreciate what I'm doing. Now, the way I look at it nowadays, I say to myself, I'm thankful for what I do. But if if everything went wrong, and eventually I had to start over somehow, I wouldn't mind teaching myself other skills and finding another job that you know, you don't know where life's going to take you because it's giving you something to do. As long as you're not killing yourself doing it, you know, you know, you'll be all right and you'll enjoy it because you found some kind of satisfaction in it. So to me, I have the opposite effect on it because I enjoy what I do because I have to be doing something. If I was sitting here doing nothing, well, over time, I'd eventually start going, driving myself crazy over it. I'd be saying to myself, I have to be doing something and I'm not making money. And I start thinking, you know, maybe it is myself. Maybe it is my fault. Maybe it's other people, you know, but whatever the case is, I'm still in a situation where I could be making more money. I'm not making money. And I need money in order to, you know, you can't like, for example, it's hard to like really justify that to people. Like you got to say to yourself, listen, at some point you have to take responsibility for your own actions. You have to turn around and say, you have to go into public and tell people, say, look, you know, we all have to make money at some point, but it's going to be really awkward. You being the person that, you know, like say you're broke and you need to make money and then they're not going to be able to give you what you want because you're not giving them what they want in return. And you know what? And I'll tell you what, if everybody just stopped, you know, I I don't believe there's such thing as an economic crisis, but, but we can definitely create one if everybody just decides to just, you know, throw away money and pretend like money doesn't mean anything. Cause let me tell you something that, you know, if you really dig into it, inflation doesn't really exist. It's just greed. If you really think about it, you know, we try to like the rich try to put people in debt so that way they can keep making money off compound interests and, you know, and taking what people have because they have to pay off the debts, right? That somehow they didn't agree to unless you really took out loans that you couldn't pay. But, you know, that it, it really just depends on how you want to look at it. But at the end of the day, it, it's all society is built upon money. But at the same time, the rich have tried to manipulate everybody else because, that's how they stay ahead in the world. And But there's always a way to make money, though. You know, even if you're somebody who doesn't like what they're doing, doesn't think they're making enough, well, then figure out what you're spending a lot of money on and, you know, don't pay it. Cut back on it somehow. You know, figure out what you can really live without and with. And if you really want more, go out there and do it. But again, but all these people that want to sit here and say that, like, this is, we've never had this problem before. No, it's always been this way. Either you work for yourself or others and make money or you don't and you just basically watch the world go by, but you don't get anything except for maybe insults or pandering because people aren't going to just give you stuff because what makes you special then? If you're just throwing your life away like that, you know, you just got to give people what they want and people will give you what you want. But that's how it's always been though. You know, maybe some generations had it easier, but at the same time, a lot of them certainly didn't have it easier either. I mean, even nowadays, I don't care how far back you want to go. You had people that grew up in Dust Bowl periods that couldn't grow stuff. Families were starving, the Great Depression. And then you have people nowadays that think that, you know, working is too hard or maybe they don't know how to start a business, but they have more opportunities than their ancestors did 100 years ago. You know, like it's just some wild stuff. A lot of people don't realize what they have until it's gone. But more importantly, a lot of people don't realize what they have until they really start trying new things. So hopefully this kind of explains a lot. But if you want to know how I feel about the situation, this is nothing new. But a lot of people just don't realize it and they need to stop saying stupid things.